up, Marco Polo in the lab. Haven't done one of these videos in a minute. Today I'm gonna to break down how I made the beat for Feral Munch, The Jungle, off that PTSD album. Um, it's a cool beat for me because, well, besides the drums, uh, everything musically I played within complete, in contact, um, and I'm gonna break it down for you today. So basically to set this beat off, um, I had a bunch of different sounds in here. I had an acoustic guitar, I had a choir, um, I had a clavinet, I had a bass. And the dope thing about contact that I love is that I can trigger multiple sounds with one button. Um, so I can kind of mess around with the settings, the effects in here and get the sound I want. It has compression, it has lo-fi, it has EQ. It has phasers and flangers and all types of shit, so I'll just mess with things until it sounds right to me. Um, and I'll just play around. That's basically how this beat started with those, with those silly chords. And basically what I did is I started layering sounds um, with the choir. foundation of the chord progression, I put it into the MPC, and then I start doing my layers in the MPC. So I had those early sounds, I had the, the pad sounds, the guitar, and then the, sh the stabs. Uh. People that know my production know I'm a fan of the stabs, I call them repetitive notes. Something about that pattern that just gets me every time, even when I hear a sample like that. I literally sample one at a time. Bam. Bam. And they're a little different. Then I added strings apparently. And then I had some guitar samples. Once again, like some Bon Jovi ass sounding fucking guitar. Yeah. Even when I'm listening right now to these sounds, they're so cheesy by themselves. But once it all came together, layered and EQ'd and mixed a certain way, it made sense. So never like shut down an idea. If you're making a beat and you're like, yeah, like follow through. You never know what's gonna happen. And this is one of those beats that I made that started from some, from literally some stock sounds that that built into something that you know personally one of my favorite MCs rapped on and made you know a really really awesome song. So I'm gonna break it down right now. To me, what really brought this beat together um, is the drums. This beat was really simple for the drums because I basically chopped a break. And don't let anybody ever tell you that that's a sellout move or lazy. It's fucking hip hop and I found the right break. And usually I layer my drums if the kicks or the snares don't have, because I like the movement of breaks, but sometimes they're thin and we need the kicks to hit. Um, but this one, it just sounded right. These drums will be included on my upcoming drum kit, shameless plug. The only thing I wanted to do is put something on the snare to make it a little different. So I put a really disgusting, ugly, splashy sounding uh, snare on top of the break. Um, just to make it a little bit different, producers like to always do things like that um, and change it up. And uh, it just I think it just changed, changed the vibe of it. Alright, bass time. I see a lot of people online asking me about my bass sounds and uh, I will be including all my bass sounds. Another shameless plug, so 
you know, with, with the drum kit, any beat that I include, you'll get the bass tone as well. First of all, to show you where I get my bass, some of my bass sounds, this one, I'll unfilter it. So that's how it is unfiltered. It's actually distorted, but when you filter it down, you don't know. Another thing with, with bass um, that I like to do when I'm programming in the MPC, and I think this applies to all producers, whether you're using an MPC, whether you're using a uh, machine, a renaissance, anything is that I lazy up the bass line so that it's a little late. It's kind of behind things, um, just to make it sound a bit more natural. You know, because quantizing in all machines can be your enemy. It's what makes everything sound stiff, drums, bass, samples, everything. You know, don't be afraid to experiment you know, if you play bass notes or you play a bass line on your beat, just for shits and giggles, go and make it late by whatever percentage you can within your program and just see what it sounds like. And I guarantee you, you're going you're gonna to hear things that can actually make your bass line sound way doper. I'll play it with the drums. <laughs> 